Hi, my name is Adrian Ho and I'm the Solar Academy trainer from SMA Australia. Today I will show you three tech tips of our new generation inverters. New generation inverters can be easily identified by the inverter display. These inverters are mainly in our current product range, including the HexChef High Frequency Inverter, Sunny Boy 3, 4, and 5000 TL 21 inverter, and the remaining Tri Power 3 phase inverters. One advantage of the new generation inverters is that they draw a small amount of reactive power, so you can still see the daily generation even at night. Another advantage is that you can see the country setting without performing a power shutdown. All you need to do is to double tap the display screen and the following three things will show. Including the firmware package, inverter model, the last three digit of the serial number, the Bluetooth net ID, and the country setting. If you are an inspector or an installer and would like to check if the inverter is in the appropriate country setting, this is the simplest way without performing a shutdown or connecting Bluetooth to the inverter. Here we have the country setting VDE0126. This is the country setting for Germany. You need to change it to the appropriate setting for your country. For new generation inverters, this can be easily done through the display within the first 10 hours of operation. After this time, you can only change it through Bluetooth Sunny Explorer with the SMA grid guard code. If it's within the first 10 hours, the installer can simply use the flathead screwdriver and change the country setting. Follow the correct procedure to shut down the inverter and remove the bottom lid. The rotary switches A and B are for the country setting. Please refer to the installation menu for your country setting. For Australia, it is 2 and 8. So for switch A, you would go to number 2. And for B, it's 8. Follow the proper procedure to close the lid and turn on the inverter. If you are in Australia, the proper setting should show AS4777.3. Now let's move on to the next tip. SMA has designed Sunclix plugs that are very easy for installers to use. But do you often have a lot of spare ones for the next project? According to the installation menu, all unused Sunclix terminals must be sealed with the Sunclix plugs in order to have the IP65 rating, or else the connection area is only IP54. Here we have one string of panel connecting to the inverter. With the remaining Sunclix pack, obtain one, close the Sunclix, put the seal into it, and you can close the Sunclix. Then feed it to the unused Sunclix terminals. Now, as you can see, we have sealed all the unused terminals. Last thing to show you today is that the electronic solar switch, the ESS handle for Sunny Boy 3, 4, and 5000 TL-21, and the classic inverter is now an optional feature. The ESS handle is used to disconnect the DC side, but in, in Australia, we require an external DC disconnecting device. Therefore, the device is no longer needed in Australia. If you are installing an inverter without an ESS handle, just check the label on the side of the box. An inverter designed with an ESS handle must have an ESS to work. If you're not sure whether an inverter requires an ESS or not, just simply note down the serial number on the right hand side of the unit and call our service line on 1-800-SMA-AUS. That's it for today. I hope this helps in your installation and remember, seal back the Sunclix plugs. I'm Adrian Ho, your Solar Academy trainer, and I'll see you in my next training.